Hey everyone, Sean here. Happy New Year. Hey, I've got a quick CNC tip for you. Suppose you want to cut a couple of small parts on a piece of scrap like this, but you've got this big knot right here and you want to make sure you don't hit that or, or when you do your layout, you want to make sure you're not going to be cutting into that part of the board. There's a great little feature inside Carbide Create. I'm going to show you how to use it. So here's our piece of walnut and here's the part that I want to cut out. I know I can probably get one right about here and then another up in here probably because I, I don't want this knot to be part of this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a picture with my phone. I'm actually filming this with my phone. So I'll show you exactly what I do. You don't want to be down here at some weird angle like this. You want to be right directly over the top. Try to get it as square as possible just like you're taking a picture of a document or you're depositing a check. Right about there looks good. So that's how I would shoot it. Click. Okay, we got that one. And then for this other piece, we're going to do something really similar. So this one's a little bigger. And it's got this crack right here that actually extends on the other side up to right here. We want to make sure we don't get any pieces down here. But we want to you know, start them up here and then work our way down. I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to put a 12 inch rule right on top of it. I'm going to get way up here, take a picture. If your phone has that feature to add the grid over your view area, then go ahead and turn that on. Okay, and click. All right, let's go to Carbide Create and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so I've got my images downloaded. The first thing we need to do is to crop them just a little bit. So I'm going to open this one just in the standard Windows Photo Editor and I want to crop it really tight, right up to the edge of the wood. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and save that. So in Carbide Create, the first thing we're going to do is set our stock size to the actual size of our piece of wood. And in this example, that's 11 and a quarter by 4 and 5 eighths. Okay, and now right up here is this Set Background button. So we're going to click that and we're going to load that image that we just cropped. Okay, so now you can see it's way too big. We have to scale it down. There is this scale field here and you could just put in some random numbers until you think you got it right, but there's a better way. First thing we're going to do to find the scale factor we need, we're going to take the actual size of the board and we're going to divide it by the size of this image that we measure inside Carbide Create. I know that sounds confusing, so just stay with me here. Watch this. Our image is already aligned with 0, 0 right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the built-in coordinate system and we're going to zoom in on this corner and we're just going to mouse over it and look at our X coordinate in the lower left. So you can see it's 147. We're going to just round that to 147 inches. Okay. So now we're going to open up our calculator. Windows key, C-A-L-C, enter. Okay, so do you remember that equation? It's the actual width, 11.25, divided by the width of that image inside Carbide Create, which is 147. So our scale factor is 0 0.0765. So let's put that in. 0 0.0765, done. And now you can see it's a perfect fit right on top of our workpiece. Let me darken that a little bit. Now we can see here's that knot that we want to avoid. So maybe we can put one part up here, maybe put this other one down here. Looks like I can just get those in. And from here you would do your normal tool paths and export your G code, etc. Okay, there's another way which I think is actually a little easier. So let's look at this other picture I took. This one, we're not going to crop it or anything. Let's bring this one into Carbide Create. So again, first step, just set your stock size to the actual size of your workpiece. And on this one, it's 21 and 3 eighths by 5 and a half. Okay, we're going to bring in our new image. Okay. So again, you can see it's way too big. Now this time, instead of measuring the actual piece of wood, we're going to measure the ruler here. And the way we're going to do that is just by drawing a line. 
draw from this corner to this corner and click done. And now if we go to scale that line, it'll tell us how wide it is. So there's our second number for finding our scale factor. So let's bring up the calculator. Okay, so this time we're gonna put in 12 as our first number because it's a 12 inch ruler. And we're gonna divide by the number we got in Carbon Create. This time our scale factor is 0 0.144. Back in Carbide Create, we're gonna go back to our background image, 0 0.1444, done. So now you can see it's the right size, but its placement is off a little bit. But that's okay, we can zoom in here, click back into the edit background, and from here you can just drag and drop the image itself. So we're gonna put that corner right at zero, zero, and there we go. So again, from here, we can place our parts. We know this region is okay. And right about here is okay, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's it really. Again, I think this second method's easier because if you have a, a ruler that you can place right inside the picture, that makes it a little easier. Again, if that's the case, your equation is gonna be the actual width of the ruler divided by the width that you measure inside Carbide Create when the image is still scaled up. I hope this helps you out next time you have a scrap piece of wood with some defects and you wanna make sure you avoid those when you're cutting out your parts. This is a great method. I've used it many times and it always works. If you like content like this, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.